This video is on the structure and function of the kidney. The kidneys are responsible for excreting waste products and excess water in the form of urine. So let's start by taking a closer look at where urine is produced. The nephrons, which are also called the kidney or renal tubules, are tiny tube-like structures that are responsible for the formation of urine. This involves the processes of ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption of useful substances, which occurs in different parts of the nephron. Knowing the parts of the nephron will make it easier to understand how urine is formed, so take some time to study this diagram. The first step in producing urine is to filter out waste products of metabolism, such as urea, and substances that are in excess. This happens during the process of ultrafiltration, which occurs between the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule in the nephron. Remember that the high pressure in the glomerulus will force out any molecule that is small enough to fit through the openings in the capillary walls and the lining of the Bowman's capsule. Besides waste products like urea, there are substances such as glucose, water, and salts that are needed by the body and will be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. Fluid that enters the proximal convoluted tubule is called filtrate, since it contains both useful and waste substances that were filtered out of the blood. After ultrafiltration, the useful substances must be reabsorbed back into the blood. Glucose is one such substance and will be reabsorbed by active transport as the filtrate passes through the proximal convoluted tubules. Remember that active transport requires energy, so the cells of the proximal convoluted tubule will contain many mitochondria to enable glucose molecules to move back into the blood. As the filtrate enters the loop of Henle, salts are reabsorbed back into the blood by both diffusion and active transport. This will make the filtrate more dilute than its surroundings, which will allow water to move out of the filtrate due to osmosis. The collecting duct will also allow water to move back into the blood, depending on the needs of the body. The fluid leaving the collecting duct is now called urine, since it will only contain waste products and excess substances which must be excreted. Let's look at a couple of exam-style questions that you may encounter. The first question asks you to identify structure 1, while the second question requires you to describe the process taking place there. This is where it becomes useful to remember the structure of the nephron. Once you can identify the structure, it should be easier to recall the process that takes place there. Remember that the command word describe requires you to give a detailed answer. Let the mark allocation be a guide as to how much detail to give. We can see that the labor line for structure 1 points towards the knot of capillaries located inside the Bowman's capsule, which would be the glomerulus. Now that we have identified the structure, try to remember the process that occurs here in order to answer the next question. So we know that the first step in urine production involves filtering out the unwanted substances from the blood. Remember that all the small molecules that can fit through the openings in the capillary wall will leave the blood and move into the Bowman's capsule. This happens due to the high pressure that is present in the capillaries of the glomerulus. Lastly, the name of this process is ultrafiltration. You only need to give two out of the three possible marking points here, so pick the ones that you will remember best. So in summary, nephrons are tiny tube-like structures that are responsible for producing urine. This involves the processes of ultrafiltration, during which small molecules are filtered out of the blood and the selective reabsorption of useful substances such as glucose, water and salts. Reabsorption can occur by diffusion, osmosis or active transport, depending on the substance being reabsorbed. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources here at Save My Exams.